Well, I learned something today. I thought I'd share my little knowledge with you. That's what I found out. Uh, I'm working on a refrigerator. She's sitting right there. It's a 2008 intermittent. It will run, cool, does great, but when it cycles off, it may or may not start again. The compressor gets really hot, goes into thermal overload, and all the, all the food, everything gets warm. You let it cool off, unplug it, plug it back in, and it starts running great again. So it's the I'm, I'm putting in a hard start kit, which I've done before, and it works great. So and there's plenty of videos on on that. But what I came across is the correct hard start kit. Uh, for what we're going to eliminate is this little device here, very common you see on the back of these refrigeration compressors. But we're eliminating eliminating it. But we need to keep the run capacitor. Some have a run capacitor, some don't. Here is a run capacitor. But these hard start kits come in two different ways. So they make one real common one here, the RCO410, but they also make a URCO410. So the difference is the one I have here in, in stock, I had it laying here for a while, is designed for refrigerators without run capacitors. So my predicament was I got a refrigerator with a capacitor. So I didn't know with certainty, can I rewire this to work with a refrigerator that has a capacitor? So I went to the website, downloaded some information to try to figure it out on my own. So here's the specs on the RCO, let me get still here, RCO 410. Max amps 6.8, one quarter to one third horsepower. So then I pulled the specs on the other one, which this is a also the Universal Series with or without run capacitor. So I pulled down here. So it's number URCO410. Only difference is the U. Amps is the same, horsepower is the same. So I said, okay, that all seems the same. So what particular is the difference? So I blew up a picture. Really, the only difference is. They've added terminals here. They got rubber caps on them, I guess, for shipping or whatever. We'll say they don't short out if you're not using them. So you, you know, if you pull those rubber caps off, that's what you're going to be seeing. Just two connectors so that you can plug your run capacitor into. So my goal is to, you know, cut these wires and add add these terminals and do the same thing. So I'm trying to make I'm trying to make a an RCO410 into a URCO410. So I wasn't 100% sure if that would work, but I called the company and I said, yep, what I'm doing will work. It's fine. So I will commence to doing that. So I'm going to cut me a couple of wires, put me uh, put my fittings on, on there, and uh, we'll see if it'll work. Okay, well, and here's a schematic, a better idea of what I'm, what I'm doing. Because you can see here the, the, the start capacitor, and it shows you how to hook the run capacitor up between the red and the white wire. So you can see what I've done. I've just cut the red and white wire. Let's see, got them twisted together. Put these on here, put a big crimp, good crimp on them. And I'll connect my capacitor up and wire it up to the fridge and we'll see if it works. And so here we go. Got, got it crimped, got my wires on there. So now I can hook this up to the fridge. I've got my conversion done plug it up and see how things go and so let's get down to that okay pretty simple thing to do just follow the instructions you see the three pins there you got your common start and run and those little three pins correspond to the compressor it's kind of a tight squeeze in here i'm gonna stick the camera back in here so you can see it so we got our if i get my finger so we've got a common on top start and run uh so now we've got that confirmed all we gotta do is follow the colors and plug it on there, and we'll be ready to fire this up. Of course, when you're doing this kind of stuff, make sure you're unplugged. You don't want to get zapped. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up because it's gonna be too hard to get my little fingers in there and try to video at the same time. Okay, just like I said, just follow. We got the white, black, and red. You poke the camera in there. What we got? Yep. White, black, and red. So we've got it hooked up correctly. And now what I've done, because I'm still doing a little testing, I've just temporarily put these little fittings on here because I wanted to, at the moment, utilize my 
original connector here before I go chopping chopping it apart. Because normally you would uh, cut the, the two white wires. You'd cut the two white wires, attach it to one black wire, cut the one blue wire on this application here and touch it to attach it to one black wire. Normally you would you would do that, wire nut it and be done with it. But I'm gonna test this first. I'm gonna let it run for a few days just to make sure I have diagnosed it properly and it's going to take care of the problem. So let me uh, put these in here and then we'll plug her up. Okay, so I've got it sitting in there the way I want it for now. Okay, start over here. I dropped my phone for a second. All right, so I got it plugged up. Moment of truth. All right, let's plug this up. Come on, give me a spot here. It's, it's off. Okay, plug it up. Turn on the switch. I hear a compressor. Nice rattling sound. All right, she's doing her job. Because like I said, it would do that before and it would cycle off and not come back on. So I'm going to let this run for a few days and make sure my repair is a success. Um, one more thing to point out here. I see this sometimes, tinkering on refrigerators. Sometimes you get one and you'll see the back panel has been removed and gone. Now this is an older fridge. It's actually a, a nice metal one. All the newer stuff is just a little piece of cardboard. Sometimes I don't know where they go, but they're gone. But they're very important to put back on there, at least make something in its place. Because you gotta think, so where this fan is, it, it draws air through. When you put this cover on, the air is going up through the back of the fridge. But you got to think about what's, what, what this air is doing, what its purpose is. What its purpose is, all right, you can see them well back behind that fan. You can barely see them. But you got the coils way back in there. They're a little dirty. You can see them. But anyway, that fan's job is to pull, draw air across those coils to remove the heat from the refrigerator. If you leave this back off, it can't do its job because the fan is going to pull the air for the least restriction. The least restriction is going to be right here. It's just going to draw the air in and shoot it right out, out the back. It's just going to make a quick little loop. It's not going to draw any air across those coils that's under, you know, it's all the way across the bottom toward the front. So that's an important thing. I keep, I keep finding these things that way for some reason. So I'm going to button this back up, let it run for a few days, and we'll see if it's a success. So tune back in.